Welcome to the sixth day of our Christmas Novena. O come, O come, Emmanuel, and ransom captive Israel that mourns in lonely exile here. Until the Son of God appear. Rejoice, rejoice, Emmanuel, shall come to thee, O Israel. O Lord, open my lips and my mouth shall proclaim your praise. O God, come to my assistance. O Lord, make haste to help me. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Alleluia. Our Lord and King is drawing near. O oh, come, let us adore Him. Rejoice, O you daughter of Zion, and exult fully, O daughter of Jerusalem, behold. The Lord and Master comes, and there shall be a brilliant light in that day. And the mountains shall drop down sweetness, and the hills flow the milk and honey. For in that day the great prophet will come, and he himself will renew Jerusalem. Our Lord and King is drawing near. O oh, come, let us adore him. Behold, the God-man of the house of David will come to sit upon the royal throne, and you will see him, and your heart will rejoice. O oh, come, let us adore him. Behold, the Lord our protector will come to save us, Israel, Holy One, wearing the crown of royalty on his noble brow, and he will exercise his rule from sea to shining sea, and from the waters of the river to the ends of the earth. O oh, come, let us adore him. Behold, the Lord and King will appear, and he will not deceive, but if he should delay, wait for him to come. He will truly come. I will not tarry. O oh, come, let us adore him. The Lord will come down like rain upon the fleas of Gideon. Justice will thrive and an abundance of true peace. All the kings of the lands of the earth will adore him and every nation will serve him. O oh, come, let us adore him. A child will be born to us, and he will be called God the Almighty. He will sit upon the royal throne of David, his father, and he will hold sway, the sign of his power, on his shoulder. O oh, come, let us adore him. Bethlehem, city of the Most High God, from you will come forth the King of Israel, and he will proceed forth from his eternity, and he will be greatly praised in the midst of all the entire universe, and there will be peace in our land, and he will have come. Our Lord and King is drawing near. O oh, come, let us adore him.
Let the heavens be glad, blow ye the trumpet in Zion. For the day of the Lord is near, behold, he will come to save us, alleluia, alleluia. Let the heavens be glad, and the earth rejoice. Oh, all you mountains, praise the Lord. Let the mountains break forth into gladness, and the hills with justice. For the Lord shall come unto the poor, he shall show mercy. Drop down do you heavens from above, and let the clouds rain the just one. Let the earth be opened, and bore forth the Savior. Be mindful of us, O Lord, and visit us in your salvation. Show to us, O Lord, your mercy, and grant us your salvation. Come, O Lord, in peace visit us, that with a perfect heart we may rejoice before you. Come, O Lord, do not tarry, do away with the offenses of your people. Come and show to us your countenance, O Lord, you sit upon the cherubim. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Let the heavens be glad, blow ye the trumpet in Zion. For the day of the Lord is near, behold, he will come to save us, alleluia, alleluia. O oh, come, thou branch of Jesse, of the grave from nether hell thy people save rejoice rejoice Emmanuel shall come to thee O Israel Jesus King of the Gentiles so then, you are no longer strangers and sojourners, but you are fellow citizens with the saints and members of the household of God, built upon the foundation of the apostles and prophets, Christ Jesus himself being the cornerstone. O King of Gentiles, the cornerstone that makes all believers one in the household of God, come and deliver your sons and daughters, whom you have formed from the dust of the earth into the eternal image of God. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, 
world without end. Amen. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Savior, for he has looked with favor on his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. He has shown the strength of his arm. He has scattered the proud in their conceit. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones and has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things and the rich he has sent away empty. He come to the help of his servant Israel for he has remembered his promise of mercy, the promise he made to our fathers, to Abraham and his children forever. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh Lord, hear my prayer, and let my cry come to you. We ask you, O oh Lord, to listen to our mind and to our heart, and increase in us your hope, your peace, your joy, your love. Thank you for the gift of everlasting life. Hazen, we beseech you, O oh Lord, do not delay. Grant us the help of your supernatural virtue, so that your coming will be a consolation to those who hope in your mercy. You who live and reign with God, the Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit. God, world without end. Amen. Our Lord and King is drawing near. Oh, come, let us adore Him. Oh, come, oh, come, thou day spring bright, pour on our souls thy healing light. Dispel the long night's lingering gloom, and pierce the shadows of the tomb. Rejoice, rejoice, Emmanuel shall come to thee, O Israel.